I hear people talking bad about the way we have to live here in this country. Harping on the wars we fight and griping about the way things ought to be. And I don't mind them switching sides and standing up for things they believe in. When they're running down my country, man, they're walking on the fighting side of me. Yeah, walking on the fighting side of me. Running down with life, I'm fighting it. Hey guys, this is Jason with the Forever Free Gunner. Just bringing you a video today um, of a variety of um, pistols in the collection here. Um, these are all ones that Preston has not gotten to shoot. So we're going to go ahead and have him shoot them today. We have the Taurus um, here in 38 Special. This is the Taurus 856. And um, just a 38 Special revolver. We have my Ithaca Arms Company 1911 from World War II that I rebuilt. It is not loaded. We have my Springfield Armory um, stainless steel in 9mm. We also have the Springfield Armory Hellcat in 9mm he's going to shoot. Then we're going to shoot the PMR-30 from Caltech. He's going to shoot the, that and going to shoot a full mag out of everything. He's going to shoot the Ruger Wrangler in 22. He's going to shoot the 45 ACP FNX Tactical 45. And then last but not least, he's going to shoot the new Ruger 57 in 57 by 28. Uh, and this will be shooting American Eagle out of it. So we're going to go ahead and start with the 22 revolver. And I'm going to come over here, Preston, go ahead and come off to the right here. We're going to make sure our shooting stance is all good, right? Mm -hmm. Finger off the trigger. You know that's a single action revolver. Let me come double check the cameras. Make sure everything's good. Yeah, you're good. So kind of turn at an angle, Preston. No, to the other direction so they can see the pistol going off. Yep, there you go. And it, With the 22 at that distance, okay, it's up to you. Okay. Oh, it must have bird shot in it. it has that snake shot in it. It's all right, shoot it. Kind of get an idea of what that pattern, pattern looks like. All right, so we're at about 10 yards, actually right at the 10 yard stake. I'm gonna come up here, guys, and we're gonna show you, it's a fresh painted target, what that snake shot does out of that 22 revolver. Uh, it peppered the whole thing. So, definitely not a defensive round, we all know that, but it was just kinda funny I didn't realize that's what was in there they didn't kick at all did they Preston no no recoil on anything on stuff like that so we're gonna come over now we're gonna move on to the 22 mag the Caltech let's keep uh, let's keep shooting that at the Iron Man okay or you can walk down the line if you want you have 30 rounds in that. That's the Caltech PMR-30. And Preston, you're what, 11 years old? Okay. Nice hit. Let me take a look malfunction okay uh, we put we loaded a really full mag so what happened is didn't have enough to overpower 
Is that an empty round? Yep, empty case. They should get better after on, here on out. Oh yeah, see? I don't wanna. Mag was a little over full, guys. Nothing uh, Preston did wrong. We had a bunch of people loading mags, so who knows who loaded that one up too tight. Nice shooting, Tex. How'd that feel? Another malfunction? Okay. So what do we do? We drop the mag. Keep it pointed in a safe direction. That was probably a good round, yeah. Go ahead and pick it up. Here, I'll put it back in the gun for you. That's the one thing about this gun, it shoots real nice. It's really accurate, has a great trigger, but it's just the nature of that long cartridge yep. that causes it to uh, malfunction. So, go ahead and shoot some of these other animals if you want, Preston. You're, you're grouping really nice. Shoot get Sasquatch there. There you go. Okay. That's fine. Tap it forward. There it goes. Now put it back in. Good job. Good job. Go ahead and continue your course of fire there. Okay. Go ahead and, and uh, just tap it forward, Preston. There you go. Okay, tap it forward again. There you go. Barely nicked him there. There you go. Job. saw that it was clear there go ahead and set it up here on the uh, mat okay so now we're gonna move up to you can say the Hellcat or you could do the 5.7 5.7 is gonna be pretty you know similar comparatively speaking okay that one is loaded it is on safe you just flip the safety down just like on a 1911 look Okay, shoot a few at the Iron Man and then, sh then walk down the line. empty you see that how much more the targets move a lot of people like to try to compare the 57 by 28 to the 22 mag and there just isn't any comparison this is going 3,000 feet per second out of a five inch barrel this is going 1800 feet per second so um, yep Ooh. Little tiny Hellcat, are you excited to shoot that one? I think that's the one you've been wanting to shoot the most. Now you really need to grip that gun and not cross your fingers. Don't cross your thumbs. Remember, lean into it, you're doing good. Okay, hold on. It probably didn't have a round in the chamber, so rack it, let it fly. Now there's a round in the chamber, there you go.
Nice shooting, Ted. There you go. Weapon's clear. I can see that. You're doing good. Just make sure you don't rub the mags up against the, the gun. So now, 9mm, the XDM, 4.5. There is not one in the chamber, so rack it. Twenty rounds goes really fast, don't it? <laughs> All right, guys, you're fine. It's in. So now we're going to, yep, the three thirty-eight special. Try not to. Uh... Well, that's hard to grip. Yeah, it's going to be a little harder to grip. Now I want you to do the same thumb side by side grip. Yep. The only reason you, the only time you have to worry about this right here is you don't want your hand up past that. So as long as your hand doesn't go past that, you hold it just like a traditional gun, okay? Don't tuck the thumb, thumbs on top of each other. That's a single double. Uh, here, stand, how about we're gonna have you stand straight because we had, you kinda had one uh, flyer go stand straighter with the target. And then we'll, you'll have you get, move up a little so you gotta really slowly squeeze. Okay, you're fine. Cock the hammer back. Let me see. There you go. Okay, now aim it and shoot. There you go. So you got you got three out of five, not not too bad, or three out of six. Hold on, you gotta push forward, okay? So go dump it out over there. Well, make sure you pick them up though. Police are brass up out here. So now we're stepping up to the 1911. That Taurus wasn't bad, that you were figuring out those first um, trigger pulls, you know? So then, we'll, uh, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five. You're missing one. It's all right. We'll find it. When we mow down here. So now you're jumping up to the 1911. You want to shoot that one first? Okay. Go ahead and step over to the side. Um, just aim at these ones, Preston, these smaller ones that are more challenging. It's not, it doesn't have one in the chamber, so you're going to have to load it. There you go. See how nice and smooth that is? Crazy how fast 15 rounds goes, huh? Good, good weapon handling. Good, making sure the weapon was clear. We're good. So now, it's your last gun. 
This is the nineteen eleven. This is a Ithaca Arms Company from Ithaca, New York. Um, this is was not on there, you know, from World War One and Two. This is a uh, My thumb safety wasn't all the way disengaged. So it's a little bit harder to pull back. So it's got like a heavy, heavy spring in there. Go ahead and, you know, aim, aim at six o'clock point of aim. So just under it. It's a heavy, heavy trigger. There you go. Aim a little bit more to the middle of the bigger targets. There you go. That's empty. Double check it's clear. Awesome. Pretty cool. You got to push the button, yeah. It's all rebuilt, so nothing's broke in yet. So guys, make sure I'm on the right side of the camera here. I'd just like to thank you for watching. Today was just a brief range day, going out with my nephew, showing the beautiful outdoors of Montana that I have the joy and love of living in. I won't say privilege because it's taken lots of hard work to, to be able to have my own range and my own property out here in northwest montana i would like to thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like like subscribe and hit that bell notification again god bless and keep your powder dry